visit aromacup.com, the world's leading single-serve coffee guide. Join our forums, talk with other coffee lovers, find coupons and reviews on great single-serve gourmet coffee machines, coffee capsules, and more great information, all available at aromacup.com. Hey everybody, this is Brian from aromacup.com. Thanks for joining us today here in your virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Today we're going to be talking about how you can make your own coffee in gourmet single serve coffee machines and be green about your coffee making. That's something that's really important to a lot of folks these days is being green in the many things that they do, reducing their footprint on the earth. And so we're gonna show you how you can do that, making use of some of these great options for single serve coffee machines. Now, I'm going to be making use of a Keurig B60 single serve machine today. The reason that I'm making use of a Keurig machine and that you probably will want to as well is very simply that Keurig machines offer the most options for being able to brew your own coffee and for being able to be green about it. All these options that I have right here on my table are going to be compatible with most Keurig machines that you're going to come across. And so if you want to brew your own coffee and be green about it, you probably want to stick with a Keurig machine. So there's two things that people usually wonder about when they're thinking about making the move from drip coffee or something otherwise and moving into the world of single serve gourmet coffee. The first thing they wonder about is, as I mentioned, can I make my own coffee? You know, a lot of folks have a specific ground that they like, they have a local roaster that they love, things like that. The answer is yes, you can do that, making use of these different options that are available to you for curing machines. The next thing that people wonder about is, can they brew their own coffee using a single serve machine without a lot of waste, without a lot of extra plastic, and still be green about it? And the answer is yes, you can. Now, what you're going to notice is that the cups for making coffee in most single serve machines come in these plastic pods. This plastic pod, firstly, it's not recyclable. There's a lot of plastic here when it, and it can add up. And these are really only supposed to be used once. So that can lead to a lot of waste. So folks worry about that. And the great thing is that with these options that are available to you, you don't have to increase your footprint on the earth as much. So let's go ahead and be green about our coffee making and make use today of one of these great options. Uh, we've talked about the other ones in some of our other videos, so you can check those out. Today, I'm going to show you how to make use of the Perfect Pod Holster. Now, the Perfect Pod Holster is a little bit different from a lot of the other pods uh, for making your own coffee that we have talked about here on aromacup.com. The reason for that is that the Perfect Pod Holster allows you to make use of any coffee pod in your Keurig machine. So it does this using a very simple yet elegant system. If we pop the lid off just by simply prying it off, you're going to notice that there's a spring-loaded bottom here in the pod holster. And what this spring does is it pushes that coffee pod up against the top of the lid of the pod holster. And that's important to make sure that you get the best brew. So, all that we have to do to make use of the Perfect Pod Holster is choose a coffee pod. So I'm going to go ahead and use this Senseo coffee pod right here. Now, when you're using these, you're going to want to just kind of get it into the pod holster, but you want to do it keeping the, the pod relatively horizontal like this. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of push the pod into the pod holster right here. That feels pretty good. It's pretty level inside of the pod holster and I'm going to pop the lid back on. Now after I pop the lid back on, I'm just going to push a little bit with my thumb and you can use your forefinger, index finger, whichever works for you. I'm just going to go ahead and push a little bit to make sure that that pod is nice and tight up against the top of the pod holster. So after you've done that, all that you need to do is take this and drop it into the brew basket in the B60. Now, unlike some of the other options that we have talked about for brewing your own coffee using these machines, you do not need to take the built-in basket out of the B60. And that is because the perfect pod holster fits right into the brew basket, just as if it were a K-cup. Now, another great thing that I should mention about this before we start brewing is that you don't always need to make use of coffee 
in the perfect pot holster. You could also brew tea. So if you like using tea, you could get some of your, of your favorite tea bags and put them into the pod holster. Now, the one other thing that I should mention is that you can't control the strength of the coffee when you're doing this because you can't control how many grounds are inside of the basket. So you're going to want to experiment and find the pod that's best for you. So that's enough. Let's, let's have some coffee. I'm going to go ahead, close up the B60's brew basket right here, drop a mug in, and I'm going to let the machine do its thing. Always my favorite part because this is where I know that I'm going to have coffee soon. And of course this is a great chance for me to mention aromacup.com. Join us on the website, sign up for a free account, join our forums, talk to other coffee lovers, and find out great information about single serve coffee machines on aromacup.com. So the machine is all done brewing now. I've got my brew. I'm ready to get on the road and get going. Now again, cleanup is very easy, making use of an option like the pod holster. And that is because all I need to do is open up the brew basket. And now I'm going to take the perfect pod holster out. Be careful because it's going to be hot. And now I'm just going to pop the lid off of the, the pod holster. And immediately, the brew pod that is inside of the pod holster is going to pop out because it's spring-loaded. I can take that, and again, because I'm making use of paper, this is going to be biodegradable and it's easily recyclable. I can take this if I have a compost heap at home or something of that like. I can take this and add it to that. Coffee grounds are great for plants. So there's a lot of cool options here that you can make use of in order to be able to be green about your coffee making. And that is the perfect pod holster. This is a great option for being able to make your own coffee and be green about it. You would probably want to keep a couple of these ready to go, packed and ready uh, in your kitchen so that you could just simply take one, drop it into your machine, and be ready to go in the morning. And that's a great way to be green about your coffee making, get on the road with your brew. I'm Brian with aromacup.com. Thank you guys as always for watching. Please check out our other videos. And we'll see you again here in your virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com.